Alright, well, it's been a little bit since we put a video out. One of the reasons was is uh, our next video. Um, we just got back from Houston. There was a boat that was anchored right over there. It was going through custody battle and divorce. Husband had it, he quit making payments on it, the wife got it back because the boat was in her name. It was a big nasty mess. We both sat for about a year. And, uh, well, they were looking for somebody to take it to Houston. And they, uh, um, put my name in the hat. They chose me, and we, uh, sailed it to Houston. Well, we did some sailing, but, uh, apparently the, what it ended up being, uh, sales weren't that great. I blew out the main and ended up with a little bit of tear in the jib. And, and then, well, you'll see some of that. But uh, it was a neat boat. Uh, it's a 51 foot Formosa. Uh, and where we took the boat, Houston, there's another 51 foot Formosa that Stick around to the end of the video to see. Well, here we are, folks. We made it to Panama City, Florida. We um, are at a marina right now. We are going to wait out the cold front that's coming. Um, we had an oopsie. We had a major tear in our main. Um, you can see right there, it ripped all the way down, um, on our first reef. Um, don't really know how it happened. Uh, we only had five knots of wind, and we hit just a little wave, and the boom slapped, and the sail just ripped all the way across. But, like I said, we're going to stay here, and we're going to wait out the storm, and hopefully leave Sunday morning. I'm going to get to see my mom. She's coming down tomorrow. So, really happy. I'm really excited. I haven't seen my mom in over a year. So, But this is her. This is the Famosa 51 foot. Gwen Song is her name. Um, really nice boat, had a little bit of trouble, but hopefully we'll get fuel and not run into any more trouble and we'll be on our way back to Texas. Woke up this morning, it was about 40 degrees, wind chill of about 30. And it is cold! <laughs> Shy's all bundled up. <laughs> Got our coffee. We're all trying to stay warm. But we refueled, stocked up on some essentials as in soda and some more beer. Got plenty of food, so didn't need any more of that. And we're heading off. Josh is wasting our drinking water. <laughs> oh, that's okay, because we got plenty of that, too. <laughs> well, what's going on, babe? Well, uh, we're out here in the Gulf of Mexico, just off of Louisiana. Uh, we don't have enough fuel to make it to Houston. Looks like we're about 
probably three quarters of a day out, we run out of fuel. Just using everything we got, what's on deck, what's in the reserve. So we're gonna go into Venice, get a little fuel. We got these damn five-story building structures out here. It's gonna get dark in a little while. And as you can see, we got this beautiful garment here. And it don't work. <laughs> so we got no radar. We got no GPS. Except for what's on your phone. Yep. We are navigating on the cell phone. 80 miles offshore. Um, and uh, the app we're using is called MX Mariner. We've got Navionics and can use that as well, but I prefer MX Mariner for navigating. Navionics is great for winds, tides, you know, stuff like that. Um, but actual navigation when you want true depths on the charts and all that kind of stuff. Navionics is better. It uses uh, up-to-date true NOAA charts. And the charts are free, so it um, makes it a lot nicer. Uh, so I prefer MX Mariner. Boat's running good. Blow out the mainsail. I don't know if we told you that or yet. Sorry. Yeah, I did a recording when we were in Panama City. Um, we sailed all day yesterday and last night with the jib. Uh, this morning the wind clocked around straight out of the out of the east, and we were going west. And that wasn't working. The Yankee just without a pole, they just was going to carry it up. Right? Motor. Uh, we turned south, uh, turn north to uh, catch the channel going into Venice. And, uh, well, Venice, I can't Louisiana. Even, yeah, Venice, Louisiana. Yeah. Not Venice, Italy. Um, or Venice, Florida. <laughs> or Venice, Florida. There's a lot of Venices. <laughs> I, can't, I can't pronounce the name of this path. You know, these, these Cajun people, they got some weird names. Baptist Colette. I guess that would be it. Baptist Colette. Italy is where we're going in. That brings us right in next to Venice, and uh, we just got across the Mississippi River, which is going to be interesting. We're not doing it at night, I'll tell you that right now. Looks like we're going to get to the mouth of the, or the, the beginning of the inlet at night. We're about to split. It looks like it's about 18 feet of water there. So we're going to drop the hook. And uh, that's the other thing we don't have. It makes it very interesting. You got a 50,000 pound boat with, uh, you know, no depth finder. No radar, no chart plotter, no nothing. We are truly navigating with this. Um, <coughs> we've been doing it since we left. I mean, it's not that big a deal. We're going to Panama City with it. And uh, you know, we found Panama City with it. That was nice. Uh, looks like we're going to be able to find this. Baptist Colette. Okay. We're heading into Louisiana, Venice, Louisiana to be particular. We're going to follow all these big barges. I was trying to film the dolphins, but okay. as soon as you get out the camera, they disappear. Where are we at, sweetheart? We are on a Galveston road with no wind. <laughs> well, we 
We got a little wind now. Yeah. We got a little wind now. We got, what do we got up there? Uh, can't see. Looks like a beam reach. Just a jib out. Pretty cool little Yankee cut jib. There's peanuts everywhere. We're going to clean the boat up because we're about a, we're a little, uh, a little less than 100 miles from the outer mark of Galveston. That's where we're going. We're going to Houston, but we got to go through Galveston Bay. So that's where we're going. But yeah, a nice little Yankee cut jib. It's blown out. The main's blown out. Uh, we can't put up the mizzen because the mizzen is uh, the mizzen mast is leaning back and the uh, the deck is all messed up there. And compression is happening. There's no compression post. So it's just leaning back. And, uh, got some restructuring to do inside there. So we can't fly the mizzen. And we're right at the edge of a safety fairway if you know what that is. Comment below. The safety fairway is not for being safe. It's a little dangerous. We got something coming down here. You probably can't see yet, but I'm going to show it to you. And we got one over there. And then we got two right there. And like I said, one big monster. If I can stabilize here a little bit. One big monster there. And then we got something coming south. I'll show it to you in a minute. Well, here we are. We finally made it to Texas. We just picked up the owner and we are going to the marina that the dock that the boat's going to be docked at, uh, which is right next to the Wanderer from Captain Ron. Um, one of the boats that they actually used for the movie Captain Ron. It's been a very long trip. We're ready to eat and take showers and relax. All right, folks. This is what we sailed from Madeira Beach to Houston, Texas. That's where we are. Ten days, little weather. Some big waves. Beautiful Formosa. You may recognize this Formosa and the name. No, that's not Kurt Russell. <laughs> Say hi, Kurt. That's not Kurt Russell. That's Josh. Boy, these decks are just. But yes, this is the Wanderer from the movie It Is the Boat. Mm -hmm.